Mollusk here and this is kind of part two of how to play your favorite war games like say Malifaux um, using Tabletop Simulator. I've now uploaded my simulation to the Steam Community Workshop. I'm going to show you uh, how to access it so it's available to the public for free. So first of all we go onto our Steam account, we click on Community and then we go to Workshop. There we are on Workshop. Now we search in here for Tabletop Simulator. And we go in there. And then we search for, say, Malifaux. And we get some nice things. And here is my simulator. It's called Mollusk War Game. So if you typed in Mollusk with ones instead of L's and a Q, because I can't spell, um, you'd also find this. Not sure about War Game. If you typed in Mollusk War Game, you'd find it. You get the idea. It should be pretty easy to find. Once you're here, a uh, little tick box should appear, this little plus, and all you'd have to do is click on that and you'll subscribe to it and then have access to this room whenever you load up your tabletop simulator, which I'll show you in a second. Why have I named this simulator in such a vague way? Well, the answer to that is I apply to Weird uh, for the use of their IP and they declined which is unfortunate but completely understandable. And so what you'll find here is a stripped down version of the one I showed you in the previous video in order that what I've built here will comply with their wishes. It's possible that some of the other users have gained permission and created models and cards and other things like that um, and you can subscribe to them to help you get started but I will, I'll give you a little bit of a show of how to uh, get started by yourself if that is not the case. Let's get into this. Once you've clicked on the little subscribe icon, you can load up the player. So we're on simulator now. We could create. Let's just go to single player. And then my uh, Mollusk War game will appear up here in this workshop for you. Um, but for me, it appears here. Now load it up. And so you'll be confronted by this. It'll take a little bit to load. Uh, these, just click the cross. We'll deal with that later. That's for creating the models. And then this is what you've got. So table, terrain set up. You can uh, move it around as you wish. I've locked it all currently. So you have to uh, go into here and click unlock in order to like chuck it around places. There's more terrain in these bags. And then there's some other markers that you might be able to use for your games. Little faction bags, they're all empty. Um, and then we've got the little scheme counters for when you scheme. A little turn counter. And the decks. So as I showed you before, you can just flip stuff over. Uh, I've named these the Black Joker, the Red Joker. I think they, the Jokers all look the same, but uh, you might be able to find a card deck somewhere else. Still, so stone pot. You can deal cards to these particular areas, and once you've uh, claimed this team color, you'll be, to see it, be able to see what's in them. The immediate question I know you're asking is, how the hell do I make some nice Malifaux models? Well, so we have this objects here, we have components, and you can go into figurines and create the custom figurine. I mean, if you're really, I don't know, some of these are pretty crazy. Let's have a look at this. Look, they even move manticore. Ooh, that looks cool. But for some Malifaux, we're going to be creating some of these things. Uh, figurine comes up. And it immediately asks you, what do you want to be represented here on this figurine? And say we want Chiaki, but we can't find a nice picture where she's been all cut out. Let us copy the image and find a way to go to paint. Here we are in paint. Let's paste the image of Chiaki. There she is. And now let's go, if you've hopefully got this, to open paint 3D, new file. There she is, magic selection. Next, and now we will add the little bits that we want of her. I'm really not gonna go into this in much detail. You can really go and do this yourself, but I'm just showing you the principle of the thing. 
draw around her really roughly. Um, da -da -da -da. Sure, you get the idea. Once that's done, we go done. You can drag her out. Get rid of the old bit. Move her here. Then what we want to do is go to the canvas. We want to turn transparency off and make the image a bit smaller. There we go. Then we go to the options or menu thing and export file as a PNG. JPEG presumably works as well. Uh, call it Chiaki and save it in your folder. Back in the simulator, we go into the files, we choose the file path we want, we find Chiaki, imports the cloud, um, makes no difference. I think this helps other people will be able to see it when they join your room. Um, choose the back to be the same, import, and there she is. Pretty damn simple, guys. Now the base size. I have this handy little chart here. Yep. As you can see, it's not ideal, but there is a 30 millimeter thing. Out of interest, these markers start as um, one scale unit down, smaller than 50 mils. So that is now 50 mils over the base over here. But to go to 30 mils like Chiaki is, we'll need to go a little bit smaller. So that's a bit of a difficult angle. And basically, yeah, you just keep doing that until she fits nicely within the lines. I think that was actually probably, that's probably pretty close. And there you go, you're ready with your Chiaki. Once you've done that once, you can copy and paste freaking tons of this stuff all around. Oh no, now I have to pick through each of them. So that's how you generate your models. Of a cut, because what I tried to do next didn't quite work out so smoothly. Um, yeah, so if you're a bit like me and don't really have much of a life, you can, you know, the sky's your limit and you can do things like this. So I go into my little wargaming studio. When it loads. And so what I have here is uh, all the models uh, for at least the Resurrectionist faction and all their cards and upgrades. All nicely set up and ready to play. Uh, and eventually one day it will be all of the factions. Um, but let's say I want to come in here, select a crew, and then go to a game. The first thing I'm going to do is come over here to this handily placed little board. Let's unlock it and make it persistent and then lock it again. <laughs> That's what I messed up last time. And let's just select a crew. We'll have these models. And we'll copy and paste them. Select them and make them persistent too. Then we go into our Mollusk War game. Load it up. And here we have our crew that we previously selected and can now happily move down. Oops. And can now happily move down onto the table ready to play so there we go guys the uh the simulator is now online and free for you guys to use as you please um sorry you'll have to do a bit of virtual modeling but uh you know that was uh that's the way it just goes happy wargaming and one last thing uh i would be very much obliged if you would not uh upload anything with weirds ip uh without asking and applying for their permission first. Let's keep things cool guys and all enjoy this game together. Cheers.